Hello all, welcome back to the tutorials. So in the last tutorial we asked about uh, UART communication and uh, uh, what are that are in required. So in this tutorial mm, we will go further and talk about uh, the need for UART2 I2 uh, UART2 RS232 transceiver. So <coughs> to talk about uh, uh, one of the basic uh, uh, digital signal uh, properties is that uh, uh, when you see SPI or a I2C or a UART which we have discussed till now, these are all uh, signaling uh, protocols where uh, with you can restrict only the signal only to the board. So that means uh, if there is a device source and if there is a destination, both of them should be on the same PCB board uh, because if you take the signals out of the board, there is a very high chance that signals get corrupted. So what we mean by signals getting corrupted is that uh, when you send example uh, embedded design block from the controller to the destination there might be a chance that you might not receive the embedded design block there can be a noise or, uh, or uh, signal reproduction is not possible at the destination so it is preferred that or it is mandatory that all these signals uh, communication should be done only on the PCB board. Now suppose if you want to extend this particular signals outside, SPI and I2C um, can use I2C bus repeater to some extent um, and you can extend the signals outside the board, the I2C signals. Now for UART, there is a specific chip called UART to RS232 converter which is also called RS232 transceiver to convert the digital UART signals to physical signal standard which can be transmitted uh, up to example 1 meter based on the speed um, which is like uh, you can extend your UART communication to the external world. Now if you see here um, from the controller side um, you can have two kinds of uh, signaling one is uh, TTL and one is CMOS so both of them can be used with a transceiver RS232 transceiver and then uh, um, extend the signaling to the outside world now that's what we have been mentioning you cannot uh, uh, transmit these signals to uh, digital signals to longer distances so that's why you need a RS232 transceiver so RS232 transceiver uses a inbuilt uh, charge pump mechanism so we'll discuss about charge pump in the next videos right now you just treat RS232 transceiver as a level translator which translates the signals from TTL CMOS to RS232 levels which can be transmitted outside so this charge pump mechanism helps to generate these RS232 levels uh, and uh, um, help in board to board communication or board to any other device communication now one thing what we have to see here is that we have been talking about TTL CMOS and RS232 so if you see here um, this is the uh, CMOS level where uh, 0 to 1.5 volt is treated as a low and 3.5 to 5 volts is treated as a high so the, these are the logic levels which we call VIH VOL we will see these definitions later for now you just treat this um, and now for the TTL you can see here 0 to 0 0.8 volts is treated as a low level and 2 to 5 volts is treated as high level anything between 0.8 to 2 is like an undetermined level and specific TTL device shall not be able to recognize that signal either as a high or a low so these are the signals which will be coming out uh, um, based on the TTL or CMOS uh, um, logic level on which microcontroller is operating and these are the levels which come out of the UART of that microcontroller now these signals will be fed to the RS232 transceiver and the RS232 gives out uh, signals in this way where when you say zero um, that is called asserted state and uh, you have uh, levels from 3 to 15 volts when you say one uh, there will uh, we call it as a deasserted uh, signal and uh, you will have a signal level between minus 3 to minus 15 so you can say that higher the voltage whatever 
uh, suppose it can be up to 12 as well, uh, plus 3 to plus 12. This can be transmitted as than uh, 15 volts. So that means the higher voltage, the lower the effect of the noise and uh, um, signal. These are logic levels which you need. see a drastic um, difference between uh, TTL and the RS232 levels. So RS23 is talking about uh, R32, um, which is standard standard, uh, uh, and uh, this standard defines and then the levels. So signal levels we have talked here. The standard connector for RS232, which is shown in this figure, this is a nine connector um, and which nine pin, and this is which connector pin. So these are the standard connectors which are used and uh, which are defined in the RS232 standard. Now, um, one more thing which we have to remember is that there are uh, in uh, data communications in our academics we have learned about uh, encoding standards. So in uh, um, uh, you are signaling as well as RS232, NRZ encoding is followed. So this NRZ encoding is the uh, encoding standard where uh, um, the signals follow for uh, uh, communication. Now, one more small thing is that uh, initially we have seen that for R UART, you have TX signal and the RX signal. In addition to TX and RX, uh, because there are nine pins in this, there additional signals are present. Uh, which are shown here and if you see here for a male connector uh, the second pin is the RXD and uh, the third pin is the TXD and the fifth pin is the ground. These are the bare minimum signals that are required for the um, serial communication. Now if you want additional flow control between the transmitter and the receiver you can use a full uh, signaling. Uh, full modem signaling we call it uh, so th which has uh, uh, like uh, signals like uh, data terminal ready data carrier detect data set ready request to send and clear to send so which and also the ringing indicator this means that when you want to communicate between uh, one device to another um, because UART doesn't have a in, uh, flow control externally, which has only a TX, RX, and a ground. Additionally, when uh, you communicate with the external world, you can help sync between uh, the devices using uh, these additional signals where one device can say to the other device that it is uh, uh, ready to send and uh, mm, or it can say it can send a request to send also uh, reply to that uh, mm, the device will reply saying uh, clear to send so th this is a full UART signaling uh, uh, sorry RS232 signaling which is used as per the RS232 standard uh, helping in the synchronization between the devices so there are many other uh, um, topics related to this uh, which uh, based on the applications the engineer can learn and uh, implement in their uh, um, respective projects. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep glued to our tutorials for next videos. Thank you.